Hey guys, what's up? So, I have an issue with my dishwasher here and uh, it won't start. So, it has power. All these things function normally. But it just won't start. So, I'm suspecting either this button, obviously, the thing is worn off. Maybe it got dirty. Could be this latch. Could be a lot of different things, but uh, i try to troubleshoot and see if I can fix it. All right, that kind of sucks. I couldn't find the reset sequence anywhere on the internet, at least for this dishwasher. So when I had built this thing, I'd put the power behind it. So um, I'm going to unplug it and we're going to reset it for a couple minutes and see what happens. All right, so I plugged it back in. Let's see if it does something. Nothing. All right, take the screws off. I ain't sure if it's missing screws already. What the deal is? Front panel just looks right at the front there. Kind of All right, so this thing is still hot, so be careful. So you have your mains. I'm assuming this is the switch right here. Just by looking at it, I couldn't even find a service manual online about this. So I mean, obviously we have some relays there. Control board. I'm sure this drives the motors, uh, sensors, float switch. You guys obviously have some issues right there. That's actually where the hole comes through, and I mean, it could be leaking water through, which it's possible. I'll take the circuit board out and test it. See if we need bad traces. All right, so instead of actually testing this here, I'm just going to disassemble this whole thing and take it to my test bench. Uh, and I brought the, the bolt board to my test bench. I'm going to do some basic functionality test. Uh, I do have some pretty fancy tools for troubleshooting, but... All right, so I have the leads connected to the uh, switch. This is the main switch when the door opens and closes. This basically is what tells the computer the door is closed and you can start a cycle. So now that's fine. So let's look more closer at the board. I'm, I'm going to check the main switch here. And this is the thing that might be the problem. You know, like I said, there's a hole in there. You can see obviously some like uh, leakage down there. Right there. You can see that. So I'm going to take this board off and do a continuity test on the actual switch itself. All right, so I have the board out, and here's a closer look at that um, the, main, the main power switch, and it is kind of discolored, so maybe water got down there, let's see. All right, continuity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test for functionality of this switch, see if it's actually, ac it's actually sending a signal back, so I should hear a beep if this is actually working correctly. And there is our issue. No. Power switch. So I'm suspecting water got down there. All right, so I'm gonna try some little stuff I have called the oxid that I use for fixing radios. Put that down there. I mean, this is obviously not a permanent fix. I might have these couple of these switches laying around. Try that. Give it a second to work, and then uh, if that doesn't work, then it's gonna take a I'm either going to try to find a switch like this, I have, or I can desolder a switch, you know, from a, from a function I'm not going to ever use, like a four hour delay, and just move it over. Alright, so now I'm getting good contact. Hope you can see that in the frame. That leads on the actual switch probes. Lead here, lead here. Let the deoxid soak in a little bit. And I'm getting consistent switch strike. Put this back together and uh, see if it works. Just put a little bit more just in case. Let it soak. All right, then I might have to put a piece of electrical tape on top of it. All right, so if you guys were wondering what I use, it's Deoxit DL100. Put a link down below. But uh, this stuff is incredible. It's pretty expensive, but for cleaning contacts and stuff. So I use this in my camera radios and stuff. You know, restoring electronics. All right, so I have a little piece of cardboard in there to uh, simulate the door being closed and. Let me show you this. Hear the water go on? Looking good. So, um, if you didn't have deoxid, you said you could move a switch over from a, a switch you don't use very often. But I mean, I'm assuming my, my situation is different than most. But if you think about it, I mean, you, you don't really have a lot going on here. You have a switch that activates the door. So if this thing is not activated, it won't turn give you any power. You have a fuse right there. 
that could go bad. Even some relays, a couple capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, but you know, maybe a transistor there, MOSFET or something, but not a lot of going on here, so not a lot can go wrong. Alright, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Alright.